hits this one hard out to left center. Carrying out deep, could it be? It is gone. And Jacobs with the punishing kill. A two-run shot that ties the game. Hyatt hits it over, and she's going to have a kill. Over to Boyd inside to Gaddis. Spin move, puts it up, takes the foul, and knocks it down. Welcome back to a, another edition of the Storm Report. Starting off the week fresh, starting off the year fresh, Southern Nazarene already off to a, a great week. And we first start with women's volleyball coach Kevin Ingram. Coach, you guys are two and two week. It's, it's really that first week's kind of a lot about figuring out, okay, now we're, now we're finally playing other teams. You know, we're not just scrimmaging all day long and, and really getting out and, and competing. And it's more about, especially with a new team that you got, let's figure out how the girls mesh and let's figure out uh, where, where we kind of need to go after this first week. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a, it's a brand new year. We got some um, new players on the floor just trying to develop that chemistry right now. But I um, felt like the girls did a great job this uh, last weekend, um, starting to come together, starting to get that chemistry going. Um, definitely uh, played some good teams and had some good competition in front of us. So it was a good, uh, just a good, great start. Uh, I'm pleased with where we're at and uh, could clearly see the areas that we need to work on and continue to get better at. But uh, like I said, it's early. So. Let's kind of run down some of the games. I mean, uh, a little bit of a stumble against Franklin Pierce, but you guys bounce back, beat a good St. Edwards team 3-0 in the first day. Second day you come back, look great against Tiffin, and then played a, a tough team in Missouri S&T who was in the national tournament last year. Yeah, exactly. Um, first game of the day um, on Friday against Franklin Pierce. Um, didn't feel like we put our best effort out there, but uh, probably some nerves and those kinds of things as well. But no excuses. They outplayed us. We got beat. Um, but uh, it was a good learning experience, but it was good to see that my girls bounce right back when we played St. Edwards that afternoon and uh, played very, very well in the afternoon, uh, more like what we had seen glimpses of at times, and so was able to start seeing some consistency in that match. Turned around on Saturday morning um, versus Tiffin, and Tiffin, um, good size, had some good hitters, and uh, I felt like we played probably our best match of the weekend against them, uh, especially an early morning match. Um, jumped out on the court and were ready to play and totally different than the morning before. And so, um, none, once again, got some great um, chemistry going and just consistency is really what we're trying to get to right now. Uh, we have we've definitely have some good hitters, we have some good passers, uh, we played good defense, but it's just a consistency issue that you're trying to get going at this point in the season. So. Um, after uh, playing them, the afternoon uh, was against a good team. Uh, Missouri s and and I felt like we played good at times with them, but um, they're probably a little bit more seasoned than we are. A lot of returners for them. Um, wished we could have played them a little bit further down the road, but uh, it is what it is. Gave us some great experience, really showed some weak spots for us, um, but um, some good things we really were able to take out of that match and come right back on Monday and, and get to work. And so that was probably the, the best match as far as us really pulling some things and knowing, okay, this is where we really got to start focusing at. The Crimson Storm fans know about Abby Bell, you know about Courtney Bowie, Lexi, and you know the girls that were here last year and the way Lexi finished, you know, uh, Abby, uh, you know, an all GAC mention. Um, let's talk about some of the some of the new girls that maybe the Crimson Storm fans as we as we start to approach some home games as you guys are spending some time on the road to start <laughs> yeah. the year. Uh, but as what can Crimson Storm fans look at and some of the new girls that are coming on? I know I know McKenna Qualls is a, is a big one for you guys. Yeah, McKenna is. Um, she's a, a Division One transfer out of Oral Roberts and uh, a big arm um, and plays extremely well all the way around. Um, she's a six rotation player for us. Um, plays a great defense. Uh, obviously can swing very well from the pin, but she's also um, got probably one of the best jump serves that uh, I've had a, in a player um, in all the years that I've coached. Um, she, can, she can flat hit it and, and went on some good runs this weekend already uh, in the sense from the service line. But uh, So we're excited about her. Um, also excited about um, Hunter. Uh, Hunter is a, a player that um, she, a freshman this year, we didn't really know what to expect out of her right away, but has jumped on the scene, hit over 600 to, um, in the match, uh, I believe it was against Tiffin uh, University, and had a great match there. She's learning a lot, um, still trying to mix and match everything that um, we're doing offensively and defensively, but um, she's, she's come along very quickly. Uh, looks to, to be a, a nice surprise for us in the sense of a player that we can count on sooner than later uh, at this point. So, um, so those are two key ones. Um, there's some other players 
in there as well that are great in practice. I think the biggest thing for us this year is we're solid from top to bottom in the sense that we've got a lot of depth this year. Um, and our practices are a lot more competitive in the sense that it's it's pretty equal out there in, in a lot of aspects. So so we're excited about that in the sense that uh, we know each and every day when we go into practice, we can get uh, we can we can make some some moves, get better in some areas, just because the other side of the floor is really going to push that lineup. Finally, uh, one of the things that I think you've kind of prided yourself on, at least since I've been here, um, has been your serve receive and especially your serve game. Mm -hmm. um, I know you guys led the NAI early uh, a lot of times when we were in the NAI, and this year it seems like along with you know Qualls and you know uh, and uh, Hannah Davis that you guys have really got some some people that can come out and serve and put pe you know put teams in a in a bit of a jam in the rotation. Most definitely, that first ball contact is huge in this sport, and um, you've got to be able to serve well, put the pressure on them, can't let them be in system right off the bat. Um, and so us being able to serve well and have, in essence, we've got six really good servers. They are a little bit different. Two, two or three of them really hit a good, hard, powerful serve, and then uh, others of them can place the ball really, really well. So um, all those things are useful in the course of that serving game. And then serve receives always going to be key. you got to build the side out. And so to get yourself back in system when the other team has a serve, and get the serve back quickly is really important. So we work a lot on that. Um, still room to improve in both of those areas, but off to a good start for sure. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck this week as you guys head down to Durant down in Southeastern as part of that Southeastern East Central tournament. Should be fun, four games uh, down in there, so it should be uh, great to watch. Good luck. Thank you. We'll be right back on the Storm Report. We will chat with Grayson Hawes of Cross Country after he ran at the UCO Land Run. We'll be right back on the Storm Report. Every spike, every dig demonstrates the skill of elite student athletes. The sights, the sounds, the intensity of an NCAA championship. It all comes down to this moment and the winner takes it all. Be there to share the experience with your family and friends. The 2015 NCAA Division II Women's Volleyball Championship, December 10th through the 12th at the Bob Martinez Athletic Center in Tampa, Florida. Visit NCAA.com slash tickets to score your championship seats today. Welcome back to the Storm Report. David Noblet here alongside men's cross country runner, Grayson Hawes. Grayson, you just ran your first meet. Um, UCO land run, pretty good time, 20-29 and a four mile. Um, we were out there watching you. You got off to a quick start. You were out in front pretty quick and then you finished third overall. Talk about maybe what, how you were able to uh, improve so much and where you've got on this time. Yeah, um, so this was actually, this last summer was the first summer since high school that I hadn't left the country. And so I had gotten some very consistent training and one of my training partners actually stayed in Bethany, and so we were able to kind of coordinate workouts this summer, and so I had a good idea of where I was at, but I was happy to finally go and prove that. Talk about the race itself a little bit. Um, it's the first one of the year, getting back into things. Um, what were you seeing uh, out on the course? And I mean, it's a course you're familiar with. You've ran several times. Yeah, um, yeah I just it's a, a popular course here, and I just... You know, I decided really quickly I was just going to go for it and just hold on for as long as I could. And I was happy I was able to get out in front and kind of hold that for as long as I could. And so, Well, you said you were the first time you were out of the country. Tell us a little about what you did because last year you took, if I'm not mistaken, you took cross country mm -hmm. off last year and you ended up going to Austria as yeah. part of studying abroad. Tell us about that experience and what it was like. Yeah, I knew I always wanted to study abroad, but being in the running is cross country in the fall, then we have indoor in the winter, and then we have outdoor in the spring. I didn't think there would ever be a good time to actually study abroad. And so I talked to my coach a little bit about it and he said I could do it in the fall. And I, I mean, if you're gonna let me get out cross country, I'm gonna take that opportunity. And so, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. And it was kind of nerve wracking a few times seeing my teammates compete, wishing I was back with them. But overall, like, I'm so glad I did that. What were some of the coolest things that you got to see and experience? Um, I would say for me, it was like just the traveling. And so I would take a weekend trip to Paris. Well, I'd be able to go run in Paris. And that was just incredible for me, who's normally running around the local lake here. Paris was a little bit different scenery. Oh, cool. What, uh, what are some other, some maybe some food, some different things that, that, that you tried <laughs> that were different? Well, I came back 10 pounds overweight, and so I was trying all the food I could. Um, I just, the main diet in Austria is meat and potatoes, and so I was eating a lot of Wiener schnitzel and 
for dessert, I'd have a strudel, and so, <laughs> yeah. Is the is the altitude a little bit different when you're trying to run up there and dealing with, with breathing and trying to run? Um, actually, in Austria, it's lower altitude, it, okay. or in Vienna, it was lower altitude than it was here, but it is very hilly, and so, I guess the difference was running up and down hills more so than actual altitude. All right. Thanks for joining us. Good luck this year. Uh, Grayson Hawes joins us right here on the Storm Report. When we come back, we'll talk with women's soccer coach Julie Duncan up next on the Storm Report. Every pass, every save, and every goal demonstrates the skill of elite student athletes. The sights, the sounds, the intensity of an NCAA championship. It all comes down to this moment, and the winner takes it all. Be there to share the experience with your family and friends. The 2015 NCAA Division II Men's and Women's Soccer Championships, December 3rd and 5th at the Ashton Brosnahan Soccer Complex in Pensacola, Florida. Visit NCAA.com slash tickets to score your championship seats today. Welcome back to the Storm Report. David Noblet alongside women's soccer coach Julie Duncan. And coach, uh, can't ask for a better week. I mean, you're still undefeated, 1-0. and <laughs> One game, one week. Uh, picked up a 1-0 win over Eastern New Mexico. I mean, anytime you start off with a win, it's exciting. Um, and to pick up a, a close win early. Yeah, that was, it was great. We, we didn't start off real well in the game, and to be able to pull off the win, really proud of the girls. Talk about the game a little bit. I mean, we, we could talk about the stats. You guys were outshot, maybe a little bit um, outshot on shots on goal as well. But you guys have been on the reverse end of some of those types of games where maybe you've outshot and had more shots on a goal, but maybe that team just snuck through. What's it like being on this side where maybe, I won't say outplayed, but, you know, uh, they just, like I said, put more shots, but you guys end up with a win. Yeah, it's a great feeling, great feeling. And, and for them to, you know, get the 1-0 lead, and, and we're a whole different team to be able to hold on to the 1-0 lead for 44 minutes really proud of them for that because the other team dominated us in possession and in shots and Natasha had a great game keeping the shutout. Talk about um, what it's like now without Becca Stewart. You, you had her for four years but picking up a win you know that that first win against a quality opponent right out of the gate w without you know some of the girls that you lost from last year. Yeah that's a confidence builder for us. Becca was an impact player on the field and off the field she just brought so much to the table and for us we're trying to find that chemistry again without Becca so it this was a big win for us a really big win to be able to do that talk about uh, Natasha Fuentes is the GAC goalkeeper of the week we just found out uh, <laughs> so talk about the job that she did and was able to keep you guys in, in that shutout to pick up that shutout in the first game Natasha is a solid keeper. She's got a lot of experience playing in the higher level games through club and then the experience she had last year as the starter all year. She has a lot of confidence this year and just she made some good saves and to be able to hold on to it at the very end of the game, the last 30 seconds were really kind of scary and Tasha kept it together in the back and made one final good save that kept us in it. Big game coming up Thursday with West Texas. Um, and now you, you kind of get that showcase. You guys had to kind of compete with football a little bit at the same time. Now you guys kind of are the only show going on on Thursday. When fans come out, what can they see from this team that maybe they, they didn't see last year? Or what should they look for in coming to watch your team play this year? Um, look for the energy. The new players coming in are, are full of energy and excitement. They're strong players, and they're going to be big impact players, and they're fitting right in with the team. So as, as we go along, I expect this team to get its chemistry and, and really produce some exciting games. You guys are coming off of a GAC championship. Um, Ten games at home, that's got to help in, in the strive for another uh, another conference championship. What's it going to take this year to try to repeat? And then the ultimate goal now with Northwestern coming in, we get that automatic bid in the GAC th to get that ultimate goal of winning the conference championship tournament. Uh, the ultimate thing would be to put balls in the back of the net. <laughs> we struggled with it last year. We're trying to critique some things this year, and hopefully we can get it in the back of the net. Our, <laughs> the defense is solid. I'm not really too worried about them. I'm Trying to build that offense. <laughs> Appreciate it, Coach. Thanks for watching the Storm Report. Don't forget you can catch us on any of our social medias at SNU Athletics. And don't forget to check out SNUathletics.com for all your Crimson Storm sports updates.